In this video, we'll demonstrate how to customize the report header and session information in CAM2 Measure 10. First, open the report creator. From the layout drop down menu, select the required layout style. To change the report logo image, select Preferences from the ribbon. Select Report from the left hand pane. Now select the Browse button above the logo image. Browse and select the required logo file. If you wish the new logo to be the default for all reports, select Set to Default, then OK. The report logo will be replaced, however the user may wish to customize the report header to resize the logo and change the company information. To do this, select the Edit Layout icon from the ribbon. This will open the Report Designer. To change the company information, simply click into the required cell and replace the existing text. Text style, size and color can be changed from the ribbon options. The text box size can be altered by clicking the border of the box and dragging it to the required size. The text background and foreground color can be changed from the property grid in the bottom right hand corner. To remove a text box, simply select it and press delete. To change the format of the date and time box, select it, then edit from the property grid options. The text box positions can be changed by selecting and then dragging and dropping into the required locations. Resizing and positioning of the logo box is performed as we did for the text box. Once the header is as required, select File and save the template with a new name. The report designer can now be closed. The report creator will automatically update to the new template, which will now be available from the template drop-down menu. Below the report header is the session information. This can also be customized to contain the user's required information. From the ribbon, select the document header icon.
The user can choose which information item to display or hide, by checking or unchecking. To create a new item, simply select the yellow Add New icon at the top left hand corner of the window. A new entry will be created at the foot of the list. Simply type in the item name. Changing the order of the items can be done by selecting the box and then using the top arrow keys to change the position within the list. The required item information can be keyed into the right hand value box. Select Save to default to store the changes, then click OK. The report will again be automatically updated. The new report template has been saved and can be exported to several file types. That concludes this video, thanks for watching.